All right, continuing the conversation for harsh versus soft, uh, we can talk about harsh versus soft modifiers. Uh, modifiers that have silver are, are gonna produce much harsher light than modifiers that have white. Um, earlier we discussed how uh, modifier size will determine harsh versus soft. Well, so will uh, silver versus white. So if you have the exact same size modifier, um, the silver will produce much harsher light. And harsher light, again, will have uh, quicker transitions between highlights and shadows. Um, the center of the exposure of where the light hits is gonna be brighter than the outside. Uh, the fall off of light is gonna be much harder and much faster. Um, so if you wanna evenly light something, you'd wanna use like a white modifier. If you wanna isolate something, uh, you'd wanna use a silver. Another benefit uh, to silver is it's much more, you get much more power out of the light. Pro Photo B1X, we'd use like Power 8, but to get the same exposure on the camera, we'd have to pump this up to maybe a whole stop. Usually there's about a stop to a stop and a half difference between white and silver. So now that we know the difference between white and silver modifiers, uh, let's test it out on our subject and see what the differences are. Uh, right now we have our Pro Photo Extra Large Silver Umbrella. Uh, and we're gonna see what that looks like uh, on our subject. All right, perfect. So you can see in the silver, um, modifier, it's the light's much more contrasty, uh, the light fall off is much harder, um, looks good, so let's transition to the white modifier. Perfect. So you can see that the, the light uh, spreads a lot more evenly, uh, it's a lot flatter of an image, um, which again, you can use that to your, your benefit, you know, it depends on the, what you're going for in the image. Another way that we can soften uh, harsh modifiers is by adding a white diffusion uh, to the front of them. So this is our Pro Photo Extra Large Silver Umbrella. Um, and now we're gonna do a couple shots where we add the white diffusion just to soften up uh, how harsh the light is. Perfect. You can see that the diffusion definitely blended the shadows and highlights much more evenly. Uh, there's no hot spot anymore. The contrast is, is much less. Uh, yeah, it looks good. All right.